I can just about guarantee this is the worst hoof you've ever seen on the Hoof GP. Where to start? Hmm. At the beginning. This one looks like it's okay, but it's not. This one's about two inches too long. This one is just colossal, obviously. Jeez, that's the size of most hoofs. So you have to take this really slowly because although it looks hugely overgrown the anatomy inside will have changed so i don't exactly know the constraints that i'm working to so i need to work by eye and by feeling not by measurement which is the case sometimes this is dermatitis that's bleeding by the way i haven't cut a Worst foot you've ever seen, Craig? Definitely. Just try to trim around the margins, as they say, so right around the edge, to thin out the edges and open this up as much as possible without actually hurting them at all. I should say this bull has literally just been bought in from another farm, like this, so... Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm just drying this area off so that we can dress it with salicylic acid and iodine to try and kill that dermatitis in there. This is not what you would call a beautiful trim. See all this dermatitis in here, it's all red raw. We need to kill that so that new horn can grow in here and all the way down here and close it up. Right now it's open to the elements and really sore. Poor big fella. A couple of minutes trim, that's all it's taken and he will be much more comfortable. And as Craig finishes wrapping his foot, that's this trim over. 
That foot will never be right, obviously. The bone inside it will be hugely enlarged because of the raging infection that's been in there. And probably the tendons down the back of his leg will have stretched. So even the angle of the foot probably will never strike the ground properly. Anyway, for now, that's everything from the Hoof GP. Make sure you've subscribed and liked this video. Doesn't seem appropriate, does it?